What's good YouTube? It's your boy Real I'm Kilpon, aka that boy Kilpon, and I'm back with another video. Now today we are going to be starting on how to get these ankle breakers. Now I know y'all seeing a lot of my clips, but I wish I would have streamed that day in the stage. I'm gonna have to stream one of the days in the stage. When I tell you I get so many ankle breakers, it is ridiculous. I know how to get every single ankle breaker. I think I pretty much got every single ankle breaker in this game. I have not seen one that I have not had yet. Um, it might be one. It might be one that I actually did not have yet. And I think it was on Bandit's Twitter. I think I did not get that ankle breaker yet. But that one's going to be coming soon. You know what I'm saying? I know how to get just about every single anchor breaker in this game. The one where, you know, they, they flying like a plane. The one where they just, you know, sit up there and do the roll on the ground. I know how to do it all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all the moves on how to get these anchor breakers. Because I know a lot of y'all, y'all probably want to get them consistently. Because I get them just about every single time I come down the court. No matter if you guard me close. No matter if you guard me far no matter what it is i pretty much always get them ankle breakers so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the moves that i do to get these ankle breakers but first things first y'all see that number at the top right you already know what i'm about to say go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the subscribe button and turn the post notifications on and leave a like on the video while you are at it please leave a like on the video it really does help me out because you know it gets us in the recommended section and everything like that so you know we want people to see us we want people to see this channel so y'all can go ahead and be like you know i was rocking with him from the beginning you know what i'm saying because if y'all rock on me leave it down in the comments because i remember just about every single person that is like been with me from the bottom you know what i'm saying so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show y'all my drill moves right now so y'all see i'm still in 96 and this player almost got corrupted bro when i tell you i almost literally could not record this video it was about to be a whole different video because my player almost got corrupted and i promise you i would have been punching this camera right now um so we're gonna go ahead and go dribble style it is quick um sometimes i like to go shifty but most of the time it's quick um signature size up i don't really use that that much um park size up none basic size up i got pro 3 i cycle between pro 3 and pro 1 just whichever one is i feel comfortable with at the time i was rocking with pro 1 for a minute um pro 1 is the one that you get the spider the pro 3 is the one where it's like just really really fast so i, I put on pro 3 back again now i start using pro 1 for the size up escape but that's not really necessary. I, I just use Pro 2 for the curry, you know what I'm saying? Everybody uses it just for the curry. I use Pro 8 crossover now. I really don't know why. I just started using it. It's just something that I really liked. Pro 3 behind the back. No reason why, you know, that's just the, the fastest one. So I always go with the fastest one. And basic spin move, I got basic one. And move a hesitation, I go through Pro 5 and Pro 8, whichever one I feel like having on at the time. It doesn't really matter step back i either use pro 2 or use pro 4 pro 4 is the nicest one to me but pro 2 is the one where you get that that hop back like that one so you know uh dribble uh, triple threat styles that doesn't really matter so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead go to that gatorade court i'm gonna show y'all every single move like starting from which ones are the worst all the way to like the top ones of which you can get your ankle breakers with and everything like that because when i tell you ankle breakers are not hard to get in this game oh yeah my bad so on where is it where's my takeover at oh there you go Throw on ankle breaker shots at your second one even if you activate it on your first one you can still get ankle breakers um i was thinking about even doubling it up but 
for my my second one i always have ankle breaker shots because even if you do activate the first one you can still get ankle breakers it still does activate uh activate ankle breaker shots um so you can still go ahead and do it however you want to but for the first one that's whatever you want you want to choose but just have on ankle breaker shots for the second one and uh let's go ahead and get straight into that in-depth tutorial okay 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 i had to go get my other player for this um because i forgot that dude does not have an 86 ball control yet. I gotta be 97 and I have to do, uh, I can't do all of the other moves that I can. This player on the other dude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all basically, uh, I just got a little list of like the moves that I wanna show y'all. I'm gonna probably show off, show off like what's the worst ones to the best ones just because um, the the best ones are, they're, they're low key OP. And um, I want y'all to go ahead and uh, go crazy with those. So we're going to go down and break it down to the worst ones, to the best ones. Now, I did put back on Pro 2 and I put back on crossover. Well, I put back on Pro 2 crossover uh, just because one of the moves that I like to show is very easier to do with the um, Pro 2 instead of Pro 8. So just letting y'all know that right now. But uh, everything else is uh, basically the same. Um, every Yeah, I think everything else is pretty much the same. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what's the first move, which is going to be this crossover behind the back. This one catches a lot of bodies, a lot of bodies. Now, don't get me wrong. When I say worst moves, these moves all still get ankle breakers. They're, every single one of them all still gets ankle breakers. So when I say worst move, I do not mean like they don't get ankle breakers, but it's just the ones that they're not as common as the other ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all the crossover behind the back. This one still does, all these moves catch a lot of bodies. So um, I don't even know why I say worst one, but you know um so the cross up behind the back all you're doing is this one right here that one is very easy to do all you're doing is uh i shouldn't have to really do a tutorial on it i should really just be able to show you the moves because these moves are very basic um but if you don't know how to do that crossover is just up and the behind the back is just diagonal um to the other direction so in this case i'm going up and then diagonal down left so i mean it, it's just very simple now that one catches a lot of bodies and uh the double crossover when you do it like this that's just flicking up twice that catches a lot of bodies but the one that i like to do the most out of this crossover is going to be this one right here where you do the behind the back and then you stop on the dime like that because if somebody's right in front of you they're dropping step backs are very very uh crucial in this game but they do not hit as well as they did in the other 2ks like you can't spam it and everything like that like it, it won't it doesn't look as good um compared to like other games and everything like that now there is some some um don't get me wrong there is some ankle breakers that are like just very op um well step backs i mean step backs that are very op they don't even do step backs they just like stop like they'll just like run and stop and you'll be able to drop them and they wouldn't even know what the heck happened but i mean i just like having a step back because I, I like my player dribbling when he looks good you know what i'm saying so that's the first move is going to be that that behind the back like right there that step back right there that crossover then step back that's the first move then the next one is going to be just very similar to the sec uh, to the first one is going to be the behind i mean the between the legs behind the back i like to use that one a lot um or i do the stop just like that uh, like that one again uh so that is going to be the first two moves very simple very basic now we're gonna go ahead and go into a little bit more complex not really complex but the ones that get like more ankle breakers now if you want to get that plain animation a lot you know where they're like flying across the court and everything like that the one that i found gets it the most is when you do it like this so you want to start off by doing the below the explosive behind the back and then the pullback so all i'm doing is the explosive behind the back and then you flick down on your right stick so that it does the pullback just like that that one it, it basically always sends them to the other side of the court just because if you don't know how ankle breakers work this year basically if you have a player the, your whole goal is to make your player stop while the other person is going to keep on going that's how ankle breakers really get triggered this year um or when you do a move like right in front of them so if the dude is standing still it's not going to work but if the dude is moving with you so say if this person is moving left and this person is moving left if i stop and this person keeps on moving just like even a tad bit it's going to get an ankle breaker to trigger so for this one i like to do it uh just because it makes it seem like i'm going left a lot and then as soon as they start running and i do that pullback they boom they shoot across the other side of the court so that's the one that i, I found the most gets you to play in animation and everything like that now going on to this next one is going to be this is one of my favorites like if a person is playing you too close and everything like that all you want to do is go ahead and hit them with one of these that one is going to kill them it is going to kill them every single time i love doing this up the court especially when i know a dude is standing right there you just go ahead and hit them one of them bro they be so confused and they be like what the heck just happened and then boom 
they're dropping. They're literally, they're literally dropping. You know what I'm saying? Now going on to the next move, it's going to be the simple stop. Now, a lot of the times these are going to be the two most crucial moves is uh, when you do these right here. So when you stop like that, doing that one and they keep on going left, killer. Very, very much of a killer. Um, this one, it does not activate as much as the other one. I'm going to show you which one uh, activates the most. Um, but this one is a very good one. So it, like, if you want to go ahead and you know you step back, you run a little bit, then boom, it's like a little step back. It's a little step back. And um, it's not that hard to do. All you want to do is just flick left on flick i mean flick uh flick left or right horizontally on your uh, right stick while going in the opposite well going in the same direction so um i'm flicking like if i'm going left i'm flicking to the right if i'm going right i'm flicking to the left very simple very easy it's gonna always get you them ankle breakers now this is going to be my favorite move you are going to see me do this a lot if you watch any of my streams and you see i have them ankle breaker shots or anything like that if i have the takeover activated you will see me always use this move this is the number one move to always get ankle breakers in this game it is very simple very easy so what you're gonna do is what i like to do is i like to run back and do a simple that simple behind the back catches a ton of bodies i can literally make a whole montage out of it right now if i wanted to but literally it catches so many bodies it is ridiculous that simple move this simple move right here just doing diagonal down left or right just doing that it catches a bunch of bodies if somebody is right in front of your face they're dropping and if you don't believe me go test it go test it i'm telling you that little move right there gets you so many bodies it is ridiculous um so those are literally the moves that i like to use to get the ankle breakers um there are other moves of course like the hesitation it does get you a lot of ankle breakers too but that one is, is kind of more it's kind of more weird just because you have to be running and then if you hit a hesitation like that a lot of the times they'll drop too um and you know of course obviously the, the the step back like that but i don't really like using the step back like that this year it doesn't look that clean pro fours look clean but it doesn't have the good hop back like how this one does um but pro four it does look clean um but i don't really like using the step backs this year so so hopefully you guys did enjoy that video if you did make sure that you leave a like on the video and you hit that subscribe button this been your boy real i'm kill fun aka that boy kill fun and i will catch y'all in the next video make sure that you leave a like button i said leave a like button i just messed up the whole clip no nah, i'ma still use it though make sure that you hit that like button and uh this has been your boy real i'm kill fun aka that boy kill fun and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace Look, can you see the eight? I've been in the darkness of my heart and it ain't safe. I ain't really here, but I know that it's okay. Cause I die, don't drown. I can walk across the lake, these.